to be done. Ew, that smell! Phew! We'll have to be quick. We cannot wake him. I'm going in. What's going on? <gasps> Snout! Zeke, sweetie. Snout really needs a bath. He smells like an old sock stuffed full of cheese. So? I like cheese. And socks, too. <sighs> he smells like cuddles. Oh, what's that, Snout? You want to take a bath? Did he really say that? Uh-huh. Don't you like feeling all clean sometimes? Yeah. Well, so does Snout. <laughs> Super! Come in, Super. I'm here. What's up, Ellie? I have a leaky pipe. Oh, it's a plip plip dripping on my head. Jump in Jupiter. I'll be right up. Now, who will wash Snout? I'll wash him. Thanks, Malik. Let me just show you the instructions for the washer. Step one, put Snout in the tub. Step two, put one cap full of soap in the tub. Step three, Press the big purple button on the wall to start the machine. When the bell goes off, you're all done. Snout will be nice and clean. First, put snout in the tub. Second, put soap in the tub. Third, press the button, all done. Got it! Hey, Zeke, wanna watch snout go round and round in the washer? No! It's too sad to watch. You can do this, Snout. You're the toughest stuffy in the whole neighborhood. Okay, he's ready. Um, Zeke, you gotta let go. I'm off to help Ellie. So, what shall we? Uh-oh. <laughs> I miss Snout! I'll find you something else to cuddle. How about this blankie? Or this fishy? Or this mousey? Squeak, squeak! We'll find something! I promise! Step one. Put Snout in the tub. Step two, put soap in the tub. Now, where's the soap? <gasps> Aha! It's stuck! <laughs> oh, no! I wrecked the instructions! Huh? I don't know what to do. Uh, what step was I even on? <laughs> oh, right! <laughs> step three, push the big purple button. Zadie, it's Malik. Malik, come in. Over. Good news. Snout is being washed. How's it going up there? Hurry up, okay? Won't be long now. Over and out. All right, Zadie. Let's jump over the couch again. <laughs> okay, okay. One more time. Woohoo! 
I forgot to put soap in the washer tub. That's why snout still smells so stinky. Step two, put soap in. Hmm, snout is super stinky, so I better put in lots of soap. Now, what was step three? Oh yeah, step three. Soap? Uh, how's it going over there? It's a circus. I can't keep this up for much longer. Just hold on. Snout will be clean in just a few minutes. <laughs> Is Snout there? Let me talk to him. Snout? Oh. Uh, ah! <laughs> Snout? Are you there? It's me, Zeke. Hello, Zeke. I'm having a bath. Whee! <laughs> Gotta go, see soon. That wasn't Snout. That was Malik. I want him back now. I have an idea. Let's make Snout a surprise for when he finishes his bath. Like a pillow fort. I bet Ellie has some huge pillows we could use. Hmm. Okay, but it has to be really big. <laughs> Two Ellie's. Ugh. <laughs> Where's the purple button? I gotta turn the machine Smelly. 
He is? <laughs> oh, that's awful. What did I do wrong? <sighs> Let me check my steps one more time. Step one, put snout in the tub. <gasps> that's it. I forgot to put snout in. And I'm guessing you might have put too much soap in. That's a good guess. That's what made all the bubbles. Okay, let's do this one more time. This time, I'll remember to put snout in the tub. Step one, put snout in the tub. That was step one. Now step two, put in the soap. Wait, gotta put in much less soap. Now I remember, the directions said to use just one capful. I do not want to make that mistake again. Step three, push the button. Smells clean. Oh, I missed you. You missed all the excitement. We played circus and there was a water ride. Well, that wasn't so bad. Easy peasy. <laughs> hey, Mr. E, what do you see? It might be a little different than me. I see. So many details, big and small. I have to look hard to see them all. I paint exactly what's in front of me. Making it look as real as can be. Hey, Ellie, what do you see? It might be a little different than me. I see so many lovely colors and shapes. What a beautiful rainbow it makes. My deal. My painting shows exactly how I feel. Hey, hey there, Zeke. Zeke. What, what do you see? see? It, it might, might be a little different, different than me. me. I see. My favorite stuffy, that's where I'll start. Cause he's the most important part. A painting, painting can show what you really care about. Whether it's details. Or colors. Or snouts. So, so hey, hey everybody, everybody, this is what we see. We all see the world a little differently. A super recipe. <laughs> Needle. Needle. Thread. Thread! Welcome, you little squish. Well, I'm heading over to shoot some hoops with Ellie. Bye! I want to give Grandma something to thank her for fixing snout. But what? What does Grandma S love? She loves making stuff. She loves us. She loves to eat. I know, I know what to make. Cornbread! Mm-hmm. Grandma's, Grandma's favorite. favorite. And to make it extra special, we can build a rocket ship to blast us to the moon. So we can have a moon cornbread picnic. Days to build a rocket ship for Grandma. 
Maybe we could skip the moon part and just give her cornbread. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> All that's left? It looks kind of dry. Ugh, it's old and stale. We can't give Grandma old steel cornbread. No! But we can make her some new cornbread. All we have to do is use the Wombat Family Cookbook. Now let's find the cornbread recipe. <gasps> there! And the first ingredient is... Honey! Ooh, let's taste it and make sure it's sweet. We can work it out, Wombats. We can look at the cornbread we do have to figure out how to make it. Today, we are observing cornbread deep in its natural habitat, the kitchen. How best to describe it? It's crunchy. It's yellow, like a banana. And it's so sweet, because of the Cornbread is crunchy, yellow like a banana, and sweet because it has honey in it. That's what makes cornbread cornbready. Now let's make some for Grandma Super! Yeah. I'm so excited! We need a mixing bowl! Bowl! <laughs> Where are you, bowl? First, we need to add something crunchy. Crunchy rice cakes. Granola. Broccoli. Hmm, I'm not sure if broccoli goes in cornbread. <laughs> Can't hurt. Grandma S always says we should eat our vegetables. <laughs> Let's add crunchy bread. Cuz, well, cornbread. Good thinking, Zeke. Now we need something that will make our cornbread yellow. A banana is yellow! <laughs> We're not making banana bread, Zeke. We're making cornbread. Ding, ding, ding! Cornbread! Corn is yellow! And I know just where to get some corn. Wombats, to the sewing and Grow Garden! <laughs> We didn't mean to scare you. It's just us wombats. We're looking for some corn. Thank you. Well, that takes care of yellow. Now we need something sweet. Honey! This time, no pause. Uh, we'll use a spoon. Oh, this is taking way too long. Let me help. The batter is stuck to your fur. Ah! Uh, uh. Now, my paws are stuck to my tummy. I'll help you, Z. Looks like we've got a little honey in there. Let's give it a mix. Mix, 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 mix. mix. Uh, let's see if it looks like cornbread yet. <laughs> 
The old cornbread was yellow, crunchy, and sweet. And we made a lumpy bunch of yellow, crunchy stuff in a bowl with honey. Huh? This doesn't look at all like Grandma Super's cornbread, even before she puts it into the oven to bake. How are we going to figure out what went wrong? I know someone who loves to tell us why things go wrong. Then, after my dream about a robot, I woke up and I had breakfast. Can we hurry this story along? After breakfast, Snout wanted to parachute off the porch and got a hole ripped in him. Oh, I bet you were sad and maybe scared. But super thick Snout! <sighs> oh, what a Thank goodness! And to thank her, we're making her some sweet, yellow, and crunchy cornbread. Super sure does love cornbread. Oh, absolutely. She loves it. But the cornbread we made for Super didn't turn out right. I do love a good cornbread. But to make it easy, I always make it with this cornbread mix. The mix has sweet sugar and yellow cornmeal already in it. All you need to add is two eggs and a splash of milk. It gets crunchy and bready when you bake it. Mm, here you go. Thanks, Mr. E. But the best cornbread? It has a secret ingredient. I like mine extra maloton, crunchy. So I add peely nuts. I love cheesy things, so I add cheese to my cornbread, <laughs> which is why mine's the best. We like spice. So we add jalapenos. I'll add a special ingredient to our list. I'll ring you in here. Grandma Supers does before she bakes it. Wait, we still need to add a special ingredient. What can we add to make our cornbread wombatty? My favorite cereal, corn covers. They're crunchy, yep, and sweet and yellow. We worked it out, wombat. Now we just need to bake the cornbread. But we can't use the oven. Let's see if Kaya can help. We're going to make Grandma Super so happy. Yeah! Cornbread making time. time! Playing basketball sure works up an appetite. Thought I'd stop in for a snack. Hey! What are you wiggles up to? And how'd you get to be such a mess? We made you cornbread to thank you for fixing Snout. Aw, for me? We tried to make cornbread that's crunchy, yellow, and sweet. But the first time, we made a mess because we didn't know the right ingredients. And also because we stuck our paws in the honey jar. And then Cat, Kit, Amato, and Duffy told us how to make theirs special. So, we used Mr. E's cornbread mix and added our own special ingredient. Mm. Mm. Thumbs up, buttercups. What's the special ingredient? I can't quite put my finger on it. Our favorite, corn cobbler cereal. I want to add this to the Wombat Family Recipe Book. Uh-oh. I take it this. Is the mess you mentioned? Now, where in this mess is my recipe book? We don't know where the Wombat Family recipe book is. We kind of lost it. We're so sorry, Grandma Super. There it is. <laughs> it looks like wombats aren't the only ones with cornbread on their mind. Well, we were so inspired by the little ones that we all decided to make you cornbread. Woohoo! It's a cornbread party! <laughs> Followed by a cleaning party. <laughs> Hooray! Work It Out Wombats is made possible in part by a Ready to Learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, by these generous supporters, and by viewers like you. Thank you.
Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also, subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.